It's 7.40 in the morning, I was supposed to leave from home at uh, 7 o'clock, but I forgot to set my alarm. My oh, colleague is uh, a little bit uh, uh, upset on me, but uh, yeah, uh, we are going uh, to have uh, breakfast and uh, have a coffee, and then we'll go to the test stand to prepare the first test firing for the uh, Aerospike rocket engine. It rained a lot and uh, today is the first day when uh, we didn't have uh, rain. We are having some uh, European breakfast. We have a list with uh, more than 50 tasks to complete for the first test firing for the Aerospike rocket engine and the next days are going to be extremely busy uh, for us but uh, we plan to have the first test firing on, um, on Wednesday so let's see how uh, this works. Come on man! We are already late, I was waiting for you the whole morning. <laughs> We are at the test stand, uh, it rained a lot in the past uh, days and we are going to try to complete as much as we can from that uh, list with more than 50 tasks. We are going to call the day, um, unfortunately we had some uh, problems with uh, the propellant distributor, it's not uh, fitting very well. We have, uh, it's pretty frustrating actually because we have like one millimeter of uh, difference on the pipe's length. Uh, and yeah, and for this one millimeter we are not able to, to complete the, the work today to fit the propellant distributor in the engine. This is the one of the eight pipes that uh, it's one millimeter longer than it should be. It's uh, Sunday, it's eight o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm going to have breakfast and uh, I have the computer with me and try to solve some administrative stuff and work on the test procedures for the Aerospike rocket engine. I'm going to have breakfast at uh, McDonald's. It doesn't sound good actually, but in Europe it's completely different than uh, in the US. I had breakfast in, uh, at McDonald's in France, in Spain, in Romania, and it's, uh, it's actually pretty good. So, uh, I usually like to work in, uh, in the city, have my computer and uh, work in remote uh, locations. I can't work properly at the office or at home, I don't know why at home, but uh, at the office I can't work because uh, my colleagues are always uh, coming to me asking for uh, stuff and I can't properly focus. So yeah, that's pretty much how uh, Sunday morning uh, looks for me. You can see in the back, just uh, the end of the road, the building where Arca is going to have uh, new offices starting with uh, next week. Can you believe this? I'm at the test stand, it's middle of December, snow on the mountains, 17 degrees uh, Celsius outside, pretty awesome day to work. So yeah, we are, uh, we are lucky from uh, this point of view, so we are pushing hard to have the test of the Aerospike uh, this week, uh, probably, let's hope, uh, actually on, uh, on Wednesday. Yeah. 
is 9 p.m. I just arrived uh, home and uh, yeah, we didn't succeed to complete the integration of the fist system in the engine. I hope we are going to finish uh, this task uh, tomorrow, but uh, I would say it's a little bit unrealistic to think that uh, we are going to perform the aerospike engine test on Wednesday, so it's more probably to be on uh, Thursday or even Friday. At this point, uh, what I want to do is uh, to have a good bath and then go to sleep and uh, resume the work uh, tomorrow. We spent like uh, almost uh, 24 hours in the engine and the fit system is uh, finally mounted. After the ground tests with uh, this engine, we are going to mount it on the launch assist system 25 rocket and we are going to launch it and it's going to be the largest uh, aerospike rocket engine in history uh, to, to fly. Long day, we are uh, heading home and uh, tomorrow is going to be a big day, so uh, yeah, how do you feel about it? Well, can't wait to start the engine. Yeah, that's, that's going to be big tomorrow, so uh, yeah, a lot of work, a lot of effort until now and uh, we are finally there to start the biggest uh, aerospike engine built in the past, uh, I think, 20 years or so, so yeah. Good morning, uh, we are going to have breakfast and uh, then uh, we are go going to the, to the test, test stand, yeah, to have the test firing of the Aerospike, big day today, so uh, yeah, Bob Dan is uh, talking with his wife in Spain, I guess, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So now is the moment to introduce my girlfriend, she is uh, Larissa and uh, she came uh, last night from uh, Bucharest to attend the test firing of the Aerospike, so uh, yeah. Let's have an amazing experience. Good morning! Good morning! Going to the test! Good morning! Yes. Okay. And now we are doing the last minus preparations. Avionics ready for the test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it. We have a uh, faulty sensor on the uh, pneumatic circuit and uh, we don't know what's happening but uh, we are trying now to remove to we are trying now to put the sensor on the radar circuit and uh, see if it works. We started the test procedures like uh, half hour ago and uh, everybody is under a lot of stress. So yeah, we really want to succeed this test. hours into the countdown and uh, still here waiting for the engine start. <laughs> 